Earth was once home to some of the most terrifying creatures to ever exist. Long before dinosaurs ruled the planet, giant animals roamed ancient landscapes. Among them was a worm-like creature, so massive it could rival the size of a small car. This incredible animal wasn't a dinosaur or a mammal, it was a type of millipede. But it was not just any type of millipede, it was the largest terrestrial arthropod to have ever lived. Recently, we discovered evidence of this giant millipede in fossils found in the UK. We called it Arthropleura, and it grew up to 2.7 meters long, about the length of a compact car. Just imagine encountering something like that crawling across the forest floor. This discovery gives us a glimpse into Earth's distant past. Around 300 million years ago, during the Carboniferous period, the world looked very different. Swamps covered much of the land, and the air was rich with oxygen. These conditions allowed arthropods like Arthropleura to grow to enormous sizes. But why does this matter today? Studying ancient megafauna like the giant millipede helps us understand how life evolved on Earth. It also teaches us about the effects of climate change and environmental shifts. By learning about these giants, we can better protect the smaller creatures that share our planet now. Our giant millipede was a true marvel of prehistoric life. Its sheer size made it stand out among ancient creatures. Picture an animal as long as a small car, or about 2.7 meters. It weighed over 50 kilograms, making it one of the heaviest arthropods ever to exist. Its body was divided into dozens of segments each covered by a hard, protective exoskeleton. This exoskeleton wasn't just armor, it also helped retain moisture, which is crucial for arthropods living in humid environments. The segments were flexible, allowing the millipede to move smoothly despite its massive size. Unlike modern millipedes, Arthropleura had no stingers or venom. Instead, its primary defense was its tough exoskeleton and sheer size. Few predators would dare attack such a colossal creature. Its legs were another striking feature. Though fossils don't preserve soft tissues like legs, scientists estimate it had around 30 pairs of them. These legs worked in waves, propelling the millipede forward with surprising efficiency. And despite its intimidating appearance, Arthropleura was not a hunter. It was a detritivore, meaning it fed on decaying plant matter. Its mouthparts were adapted for chewing leaves, seeds, and other organic debris. Some researchers believe it may have also eaten algae or fungi growing near water sources. One reason that could make it grow so large was the high oxygen levels during the Carboniferous period. Earth's atmosphere at the time contained about 35% oxygen, compared to today's 21%. This abundance of oxygen allowed arthropods to develop larger bodies because their respiratory systems rely on diffusion through tiny tubes called trachea. More oxygen meant they could support bigger sizes. Its sensory organs were likely simple but effective. Modern millipedes use antennae to feel and smell their surroundings. Arthropleura probably did the same, using its antennae to navigate dense forests and find food. Though it looked fearsome, Arthropleura was harmless to humans if they had existed back then. It spent most of its time crawling along forest floors, feeding quietly and playing a vital role in its ecosystem. This incredible creature reminds us how different life was millions of years ago. Its size and adaptations were perfectly suited to its environment. But what kind of world did it live in? The giant millipede, Arthropleura, lived during the Carboniferous period roughly 359 to 299 million years ago. This was a time when Earth looked vastly different from today. The continents were joined together in a supercontinent called Pangaea, and much of the land was covered by lush, swampy forests. These ancient ecosystems were unlike anything we see now. These forests were dominated by towering trees like lycopsids, ferns, and early conifers. Some of these plants grew over 40 meters tall, creating dense canopies that shaded the forest floor. Beneath these giants lay thick layers of decaying plant matter, dead leaves, fallen logs, and rotting vegetation provided an endless buffet for this massive millipede. The climate was warm and humid, ideal for both plants and animals. Swamps and wetlands stretched across vast regions, providing plenty of moisture. Water sources were abundant, ensuring that its exoskeleton stayed hydrated, a critical need for all arthropods. These swamps also acted as nurseries for other prehistoric life forms, 
including early amphibians and insects. Arthropleura thrived in these environments, but it wasn't alone. It shared its habitat with a variety of other fascinating creatures. Giant dragonfly-like insects with wingspans of up to 70 centimeters flitted through the skies. Early amphibians, some as large as modern crocodiles, prowled the waters and swamps. Despite their size, these amphibians likely posed little threat to Arthropleura, thanks to its tough exoskeleton and non-threatening diet. However, not everything about this world was paradise. Competition for resources was fierce. Smaller arthropods and detritivores competed for the same food sources. Larger predators might have occasionally targeted juvenile Arthropleura, though adults were probably too big to be bothered. Over millions of years, the environment began to change. By the end of the Carboniferous period, the climate started to dry out. Swamps gave way to more open landscapes and oxygen levels began to decline. These shifts spelled trouble for Arthropleura. Its specialized adaptations made it highly successful in its original habitat, but less suited to the new conditions. The fossil record shows that Arthropleura disappeared around 299 million years ago, at the boundary between the Carboniferous and Permian periods. While no one knows exactly why it vanished, changes in its environment likely played a major role. The giant millipede may have been a massive creature, but its role in the ecosystem was surprisingly humble. It wasn't a predator or a scavenger of flesh, it was a detritivore. This means it fed on decaying plant matter, playing a vital part in recycling nutrients back into the environment. As it crawled through the ancient forests, Arthropleura would munch on fallen leaves, rotting wood, fungi, and other organic debris. By breaking down this material, it helped speed up decomposition. This process released essential nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus back into the soil enriching it for new plant growth. In this way, Arthropleura acted as a natural recycler, maintaining the health of its swampy habitat. Its feeding habits also indirectly supported other species. The nutrient-rich soil created by its activities allowed plants to thrive, which in turn provided food and shelter for countless animals. Even smaller arthropods likely benefited from the leftovers of Arthropleura meals. Its presence helped sustain the delicate balance of life in Carboniferous ecosystems. Scientists believe that Arthropleura spent most of its time on the forest floor, moving slowly and steadily in search of food. Its numerous legs worked in coordinated waves, allowing it to navigate uneven terrain with ease. Fossil evidence also indicates that it preferred areas near water sources, where humidity levels were high and food was abundant. Though we don't know much about its social behavior, modern millipedes offer some clues. Most millipedes are solitary creatures, coming together only to mate. It's likely that Arthropleura followed a similar pattern. Males and females probably met briefly during breeding season, after which females laid eggs in moist environments to ensure their survival. Interestingly, their dominance in its ecosystem shows how important detritivores are. Without them, dead plant matter would pile up, which will disrupt nutrient cycles and harm plant growth. Arthropleura kept these processes running smoothly, ensuring the survival of its forest home. But what happened when the environment changed? As oxygen levels dropped and swamps dried up, Arthropleura lost its advantage. Its specialized adaptations became liabilities in a rapidly changing world. The extinction of the giant millipede marks a turning point in Earth's history. While it thrived during the Carboniferous period, changes in the environment eventually led to its downfall. These changes were gradual but profound, reshaping the planet and leaving Arthropleura unable to adapt. One of the most significant factors was the decline in atmospheric oxygen levels. By the end of the Carboniferous and into the Permian period, oxygen levels dropped drastically. This reduction likely limited the size and energy efficiency of large arthropods, making it harder for the species to survive. Climate change also played a major role. The warm, humid conditions of the Carboniferous gave way to a drier, more seasonal climate during the Permian. Swamps and wetlands, which had been the primary habitats for Arthropleura, started to shrink. As forests became less dense and water sources dried up, the millipede lost access to the moist environments it relied on to keep its exoskeleton hydrated. Without enough moisture, arthropods struggle to breathe and move effectively. The shift in vegetation further compounded these challenges. During the Carboniferous, lush forests dominated the landscape providing ample decaying plant matter for Arthropleura to feed on. 
But as the climate changed, many of these plants disappeared. They were replaced by more drought-resistant species, such as conifers and seed ferns, which produce tougher, less nutritious leaves. This dietary shift may have left Arthropleura struggling to find enough food to sustain its massive body. Competition from other animals also increased during this time. The rise of early reptiles and more advanced insects introduced new predators and competitors into ecosystems. Reptiles, in particular, were better adapted to the changing conditions. Their scaly skin prevented water loss, and their lungs allowed them to thrive in drier environments. In contrast, Arthropleura's reliance on high humidity and abundant plant debris put it at a disadvantage. Additionally, the evolution of more efficient detritivories and decomposers may have pushed Arthropleura out of its ecological niche. Smaller, faster adapting arthropods could process organic matter more quickly, leaving less food for the giant millipede. By the end of the Carboniferous period, Arthropleura had vanished entirely. Fossil records show no evidence of the species surviving into the Permian. The story of Arthropleura is more than just a legend of an ancient giant. It's a lesson in resilience, adaptation, and the fragility of life. Though this car-sized millipede vanished millions of years ago, its legacy continues to inspire scientists and conservationists today. One key takeaway is the importance of environmental stability. Arthropleura thrived in a world with high oxygen levels, abundant moisture, and lush vegetation. When these conditions changed, it couldn't adapt quickly enough to survive. This highlights how sensitive ecosystems are to shifts in climate and resources. In our modern world, where human activity drives rapid environmental changes, the extinction of Arthropleura serves as a warning. Protecting habitats and maintaining biodiversity are essential to preventing similar losses today. Another lesson is the interconnectedness of life. As a detritivore, Arthropleura played a vital role in recycling nutrients and supporting plant growth. Its disappearance would have disrupted entire ecosystems, affecting countless other species. Similarly, the loss of any species today, whether insects, amphibians or mammals, can have cascading effects on food webs and ecological balance. Studying Arthropleura also reminds us of the value of paleontology. By uncovering fossils and piecing together the lives of ancient creatures, we gain insights into Earth's history and the processes that shape life. Modern arthropods like millipedes, beetles, and spiders may not be as large or impressive as their prehistoric relatives, but they play equally important roles in ecosystems. They break down waste, pollinate plants, and serve as food for larger animals. The giant millipede's extinction wasn't just the end of a species, it was a turning point in Earth's history. Its story teaches us to respect the delicate balance of nature and take action to preserve it. If you enjoyed learning about Arthropleura, please like, share, and subscribe for more stories about paleontology and the natural world. See you next time into the wild past.